What's going on guys, Robbie here. In today's video, I have a special treat. I'm here at the Jasper HQ with Austin, the marketing leader here at Jasper. He's gonna tell you how you can literally have a machine write all your copy. So let's get into it right now. What's going on guys, Robbie here and welcome to another video. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world and we have a special treat here. I'm actually right now in Austin, Texas and the reason why is because we are at the Jasper headquarters and this video is gonna be awesome because I have Austin Distal with me. We got Austin in Austin <laughs> and we're gonna be showing you guys how literally they've built an amazing technology which basically will write all of your copy, all of your landing pages, and much, much more using AI technology. And so Austin uh, is the marketing leader for Jasper, uh, and that's why I wanted to sit down with him and kind of uh, just pick his brain on how he's been able to do it, how it all started, and how it can benefit you as an affiliate marketer, because one of the biggest roadblocks for a lot of people is you know writing copy. And so I'm so excited to have Austin here. So Austin, man, what's going on? Hey. Good to hang out, yeah, yeah. welcome over. Thanks man, thanks yeah, for having us. You're here on a Friday and so a lot of people are working remotely but yes. we've taken over the, the cafe here yeah. in uh, Jasper's HQ here in Austin. I love it, yeah, so we're not just sitting at a random cafeteria guys. <laughs> you can see the Jasper logos behind us so uh, we're good to go. So Austin, real quick, let's give me a quick little background and breakdown of you know, kind of how Jasper got started. Yeah, you know, um, I'll tell my personal version of the story because you know, if you're in affiliate marketing you might resonate with it. Uh, I was in college at, at UGA in Georgia, uh, studying online marketing. I had an agency doing paid ads, mostly uh, AdWords and Facebook ads for clients uh, from e-commerce to local. Yep. I was trying to figure out how do I scale my agency. So I started looking online, I got retargeting ads for courses, and there's this one guy, I really liked his style, so I attended and I used all my spring break money to buy his course. Oh, nice. Behind my girlfriend's back, we're supposed to go to the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, wow. And, um, she loved and so, that, right? <laughs> Well, she didn't know. She didn't know for a little while. Yeah. But uh, I applied the sales uh, tactics. I, I started coordinating with uh, contractor media buyers, built a good little agency, and became a case study for that guy and ended up moving in with him. I moved from, uh, from Atlanta to Maryland, and uh, he ends up you know, starting software companies. Uh, in the marketing space. So he was teaching marketing and then uh, starting to create marketing uh, content, software, and community. Yep. A lot of the people in the community were affiliate marketers. And you might know this guy today because he's the CEO of Jasper, Dave Rogan Moser. So my story is long because I was a customer, then started working with him in different ways and uh, throughout many different businesses, eventually went through Y Combinator out in California, moved here to Austin, Texas, and uh, that's kind of where we are today. Now, five years being in Austin, um, you know, Jasper started off because we were trying to figure out how do we create our own Facebook ads at scale because it's really hard to come up with fresh ideas, new angles, and we were trying to sell our, uh, our product proof. You might know useproof.com, it's social validation on websites. That started off because we were trying to figure out how do we increase conversion rates on landing pages for our paid ads? Yep. So really like paid traffic is at the core of our being. We created multiple companies in software for that specific problem, but coming in at different ways. One with social proof, now with artificial intelligence. Because we know one of the bigger problems is coming up with fresh copy, unique angles, and especially as you start to diversify your audiences, how do you promote the same product to different people. And so bridging the features to benefits, telling creative stories, uh, and, and even running formulas like the AIDA or the PAS framework. And so to my marketing copywriting friends out there, uh, yes, we did steal some David Ogilvie uh, <laughs> frameworks. Yep. Yes, we have read the Gary, uh, the, the Halpert letters, yep. and yep. Um, Jasper has consumed those theories. And so what makes our AI unique is that it is designed for direct response copywriting. Uh, it's very intelligent at uh, Facebook ads that convert. And so that's you know, obviously probably why we're here today. There's a pretty large, uh, diverse, we have about 80,000 monthly paying users now. So out of that, roughly 30% are agencies, 15% are affiliates, uh, a good bit are brands. 
Um, and then a lot of entrepreneurs and solopreneurs. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. So, so 15% of those 80,000 are affiliates, right? So yeah. that's, that's pretty significant, right? So um, I love that. And so, you know, I want to talk to you about, you know, what, what makes like Jasper like have that like secret sauce, I guess, you know, like, because as an affiliate, you know, one thing I teach in, in my course and stuff is actually how to, you know, tell a story and how to, you know, create that curiosity and those emotional type stuff. Like, how was how was Jasper able to to do all that? And you know, I know obviously you can't share the secret stuff behind the scenes, but like, yeah. but like, what's the core you know I guess secret sauce to that that really makes Jasper like different than anything else out there? Yeah, well, I kind of um, relate it like the moment that we are in time right now is imagine you just got a puppy for Christmas, sure. and when you get a, a golden retriever, let's just say, it, it, it's peeing all over, it's it's messy, it barks at everything, it's not trained. Yeah. So we've taken this puppy and we've trained it. Here's what a really good trick looks like. This could be a Facebook ad. This could be uh, how to write headlines on your landing pages that hook attention and get them to read further down the page. So these are tricks that we've taught this puppy. Over time, this puppy has gotten very well trained. And now it's like, a, a, it's a hunting dog. It's a service dog. It can do everything, right? Um, but because we started off with just a few tricks and then asked the community, what would you like this puppy to do? And eventually it started getting really intelligent. Now the other side of dog training, it's not just training the dog, it's training the owner. Yes. And so part of what our company is all about is we're an education platform. Yeah. Uh, we educate the market at large, so we host events, yeah. we speak at a lot of events. And a lot of the uh, AI engineers on our team the database infrastructure guys, they all have their own like authority in their worlds. And so, uh, and then ours in marketing, right? So we're educating many different verticals of artificial intelligence, bridging between that and marketing. Um, so at large, we're trying to push the industry forward. Um, and then it's also about training the individuals using the product. So if you're thinking about being a Jasper user or you already are, um, there's a very large amount of support when you enter Jasper courses. There's a boot camp 45 minutes in, you'll understand all of the basics to really understand how to use the AI to serve you. We look at it as um, an enablement tool. So it's not a takeover, it's not here coming for your copywriting jobs, but you need to be a, a director now. You're not writing your first draft, you've now found your AI assistant to do the first draft, You've directed what are the goals of this draft. Now you're coming in and you're making the edits, applying the third party facts, your own testimonials, your stories, and maybe adding any extra flavors that are unique to your human touch. That's what you'll come to find. So there's a, the YouTube channel's large, a lot of very instructional information. And then there's a huge Facebook community. Y'all figure out how to use this thing better than we do. Yeah. We're here in our, you know, echo chamber here in Austin, you know, and we're tinkering and we're, we're very good marketers um, from our past, our experience in the past, but heck, y'all are way better than we are. And so you're gonna figure out very cool ways to teach it to do and instruct it to do unique propositions that serve the offer that you're selling uh, in, in a tone of voice and in a, in a style that matches what your brand is. Wow, that's really cool. So do you have any like, uh, like kind of real world, um, I guess like case studies of people that were like, maybe they had a full-time copywriting team or maybe they were trying to do it on their own, like you know, what a difference like Jasper has made for them in their own business? Yeah, so um, there's a few unique uh, stories I've heard over the years. One that sticks out to me from a, as a marketer, I'm a pretty creative person, but sometimes if I haven't had my cup of coffee yet, my days are not going. Sometimes I'll like try to figure out how do I brainstorm like different angles here so I get on a whiteboard, you know, but that blank slate's a little scary sometimes. Or sometimes I'm halfway down a VSL or a video script and I'm like, where do I take it from here? What's the next, like I'm, I'm kind of facing a, a bump in the road of my writing. Um, and that's when I ping my brainstorming buddy Jasper. So a story of this is um, there was a marketing agency in Los Angeles uh, and they, they were onboarding a new client that does window tinting um, in the you know, like Southern California area. They were like, let's focus, the, 
the creatives at the table were like, let's focus on uh, Hollywood's rich and famous and get them to tint their cool cars windows. Uh, we can even go downstream to like TikTokers and Instagram influencers. So that was their whole angle. Look cool in your car, get the privacy you need because the paparazzi's out there, right? And yep. so that, they were trying to be fashionable and edgy. Yep. And so they were like, we're going to market, but then they onboarded Jasper and they're like, hey, let's ping our AI assistant to see what creative ideas it'll spin up. And they put in all the client information to give it context. And they said, generate some Facebook ad angles. Yep. And it goes, hey moms, protect your kids from the hot California sun rays, tint your Suburban's windows to block UV light and protect their skin from sunburns. Oh man, that's awesome. What do you assume? Who's going to pay more money? A TikToker who wants to look cool or a mom who wants to protect your kids? Fair point, yeah, yeah. And so they ran it and uh, it turns out moms are willing to pay more to protect their kids. Wow, that's cool. And uh, it completely revolutionized this window tinting business made more money, you know, and, and they just like really, it, it served them super well. They, they didn't always use Jasper's uh, exact copy it exported, but the theories that got the ball rolling and were uh, a spark of imagination for the creatives at the table, like kept it going, so. Wow, that, that's amazing. Cause, and I think that's a great, uh, great thing you said there because you know, as a, an affiliate marketer and marketers in general, like you have an angle you want to go and you're creative, but you know, having the AI to like, you know, kind of spark another idea that you weren't, weren't even completely thinking about, right? That takes you down this other path. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. And so and that is honestly worth, that's worth big bucks too, you know, to the marketer yeah. as well. So that's amazing. I would have bought that too. Cause I mean, you know, sunscreen and me, I'm, I'm very pale. So <laughs> <laughs> it would have been awesome. Um, so that's huge, and I think that's because that's one of the biggest things like my students deal with when it comes to you know writing copy. They get a little bit intimidated by that, right? Where they're just like, oh, man, because they're brand new to affiliate marketing. So, so I think having the ability to use Jasper, you know, to be in a position where you can say, all right, you know what, like, you know, I can just uh, ping it the different ideas, kind of give it the direction it wants to go, and it's going to spit out all those things for me. Um, and I think that's amazing too because one of the things I see a lot of like affiliate marketers do is, you know, they're, you know, it's a lot of it's called copywriting because they're copying <laughs> other people's writing, and yeah. so being able to have original ideas because you know I'm sure you know on Facebook like original content is going to go further and be uh, cost or cheaper too, you know. So totally. Yeah. Well, I see. Um, you know, for myself, like. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a train, you know, uh, I've studied copywriting for a long time. Uh, but even in, in that scenario, like I'm always looking to generate new ideas. Uh, I like running experiments, A-B tests, so I'll test my ideas versus the AIs and it wins a lot. I have a lot to get done in a day. And so I'm just like, I need to blaze through this campaign. And so I'm like, just trying to get a, a good enough result out there that I can carry on and like get more work that I have to get done this week. So um, in scenarios like that, I like to, let's say I'm trying to do an email push. I'll give it the facts of the campaign, the product, the audience, all of that. And then uh, I'll say, Jasper, write this. Or maybe I'll give it my own brief. I'll like get it going and then I'll have, I'll highlight it all and say, Jasper, rephrase this. I, I also like to make it humorous. I try my best to use humor in, in copywriting and so I'll rewrite it in the tone of voice of Jerry Seinfeld. Nice. <laughs> and that one works pretty good. It's like not always so on the nose, okay. like trying to be outlandishly funny, yep. but it's like subtle enough to get you to grin while, while you're uh, reading it. Yep, yep. Um, or in this uh, example I, I was writing yesterday uh, to an audience in Australia. And so uh, I was writing on behalf of a CEO who's the founder of a company in Sydney, writing an email to his audience of customers. Okay. I don't speak Australian. Sure, sure. So I have Jasper, um, I write it basically with all the details, but then I have it rephrase it in a tone of voice of uh, Australian English. And so it changed like good morning to good day. Oh wow. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool um, the way that you can use it in different ways. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I use it to brainstorm. I use it to move faster. You can pump out content like 10 times faster. I use it to experiment and come up with fresh angles um, and even test my own assumptions. I'll, I'll run two pages with different kind of copy. Yeah. One with you know, my assumptions, one with a, a different angle. Yeah. And then just scale. So straight up, we know in today's Facebook algorithm, you need to have a lot of variant copies. You need to just let the algorithm choose 
I, I like to do the uh, mixed um, media. So I'll have multiple images, which Jasper can actually create images now. So you'll have 10 different variations of hooks. Um, you can copy and paste into Jasper and it does a feature to bridge. It can do a creative story. It can do a PAS. Um, and then you have a bunch of images that support that copy. Run it into a compiler uh, in, in Facebook and it will mix and match all of them until you finally find your winning uh, combination. That's amazing. And that's such a competitive edge too. I mean, yeah. it's because in the past you'd have to, you know, write your own copy, come up with an angle. You'd have to go and try to find the stock photos and get it illustrated. And so, so you're saying you can literally in Jasper, you can pretty much get copy, <laughs> images, everything you need to do to run your campaigns. Yeah. And from, you know, the traffic paid ads to the landing page, if you're doing videos, it can write, help you write scripts. We even, uh, I work with John Benson on creating the uh, mini VSL script. So we fed Jasper all of John Benson's best work. Um, and we asked, ja or we asked John, how do we describe like each section of a VSL? And what are the parameters here? When do we start to embrace urgency? Uh, when do we open up a loop? And so, um, ja and then where do you create a unique mechanism here to get them thinking and disassociated from what they know and like tie into a new terminology that you're teaching them something new. So anyway, all of this is built in Jasper. You can go and look up the John Benson VSL template. You just fill out a form of your, of your work, or your client, your product, whatever you're selling, and then it prints in a second a VSL. No way. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> it, it almost feels like cheating. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's so cool, man. If I had this in college. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, tell me about it. I'm thinking about it, yeah. I wouldn't have to ask my friend for the, you know, for his uh, work. <laughs> That's amazing, man. So, so obviously you got so much going on with Jasper. You had that big, uh, you know, that big raise. So now, you know, you got, you guys are just growing like crazy. Like, you know, what's your, what's the big picture for, you know, in the future for, for Jasper? Cause you've done so much already, but like, yeah. you, know, you got to keep pushing the envelope, right? Of course, yeah. always. Um, yeah, well, so uh, we just raised $125 million Series A from a lot of uh, strategic investors um, at a $1.5 billion valuation. And we're really grateful to be in a position where we can serve 80,000 people. Uh, with that, it requires a lot of talented people. So the engineering team has really grown in the last year. We've gone from last year about nine people uh, to now uh, closing on 170. A lot of, like I'm always the dumbest guy in the room and it is so cool to get in the mind of somebody who studies artificial intelligence every day and get in the room where I'm just like listening, what are you saying and like how does it work? And so um, where does it go next? Well, there's an update coming that I've been told from the engineers is nearly a religious experience. Really? Okay. So if you thought Jasper was good now, just wait, this upcoming year is going to be insane. It's, a, it's understanding of niche industries and topics. Um, it's ability to be fluid and take direction. Something that's unique to Jasper is that you can actually direct the AI with a command. You can say, hey Jasper, write me a subject line for an email that focuses on social validation uh, for the healthcare niche. And, uh, and so then it, it, it can do that. It can be directive. And, and then you can say, and use emojis and then it includes emojis. So I'm giving it directions. I'm not following a template. It's not um, you know, a formula. It's literally just speaking to an assistant uh, with a direction. So that's incredible. I, I love the future of that. Um, our business plans uh, are, are really incredible. So uh, that creates like so many more personalized, customized templates and workflows. So imagine that you gave your assistant uh, an, an SOP, a standard operating procedure, yeah. to follow step-by-step step how to do something. You might have a unique way of writing articles, a unique way of writing uh, video sales letters, or your Facebook ads templates. Jasper doesn't know your framework, yeah. but what if it could? What if it could follow a framework that your company or your uh, organization has created Maybe you're a coach or creator and you say, this is the right way to do something. You're a consultant. Yep. Well, now Jasper can follow a command, a series of commands uh, in order. And so think about just the blazing speed. Yeah. In year one, Jasper was on an island. So you had to go to it. This upcoming year, Jasper will be everywhere. Every text box 
whether you're in Facebook Business Manager writing ad copy, you're in Google Docs and you're writing a long form uh, letter, or you're in YouTube and you're uploading a video and you're like, I need to write a description of this video and then I need the social pros to, to correlate with it. Now, Jasper, you would have to go to it in the past. Now, you can actually hit up the Chrome extension, have Jasper's inside of YouTube with you, and now you're generating the copy right there, and so you're saving so much time. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. Well, that sounds like an exciting year coming up. <laughs> yeah. Everyone that's using AI, their minds are gonna expand. The overall consciousness is expanding, so this is what's a re really unique time right now is you're gonna look back at 2023 and saying that was monumental. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Yeah. Dude, this has been amazing. I mean, definitely opened my eyes to a lot of stuff here, and I think that everyone watching is gonna be uh, fired up as well. So, so guys, if you're watching this video and you wanna get started with Jasper, here's what I want you to do. There's a link below in this video uh, where you can get started. Me and uh, Jasper, we worked out a pretty cool deal for you guys as well, so make sure you guys check out that link below. Uh, but let's wrap it up here, Austin. I mean, any, uh, you know, I guess, last pearls of wisdom or anything you wanna share before we uh, wrap it up today? Yeah, well, if you're kicking the tires on if AI is good for you, I would say hop into the Facebook group, check out that on what nifty things people are doing with it. Um, and you can use search, the search bar and say, hey, well, I'm using it for SEO or I'm using it for Google AdWords. And just like you'll consolidate and see how people are using it in nifty ways. Um, and it, it's risk free. So you're going to get a free trial, you get some bonuses, uh, a lot of education and community to help you out there. So I would say hop in. Don't be afraid of it. It's a tool, not a takeover. Yep. If you embrace this technology, I promise that you'll save a lot of time and you're gonna make a lot more money because you'll be able to get more projects done in less time. Yep. So increasing your bandwidth and also it's just damn good at making copy yep. that converts. So if you're writing copy to sell something, you'll sell more of it because you're using your AI assistant. Oh, that's amazing. Well, dude, this has been amazing, super eye-opening, and uh, I'm really grateful to have uh, you know, invited us here to the headquarters. And, and once again, guys, make sure you guys check out Jasper in the link below. Uh, and definitely check it out, because if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're any type of marketer and you want to improve your copy, uh, you know, as Austin said, getting some better ideas when it comes to the AI, uh, that will help you save time and make more money. That's always a, a great deal. So Austin, thank you so much for doing this interview, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Now, if you like that video and you want to learn more about Jasper and how it can help you write your copy, write your landing pages, and much, much more, go to the link in the description box because there is a special link for you, for my followers, where you can actually get started on Jasper and learn how to literally write AI copy, have it all done for you. So make sure you guys check out that link below. Also, if you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up, show me love the content. And finally, guys, hit the subscribe button because every single week we pump out more content to help you have more success online. So that's it for me. That's it for Austin. I'll talk to you soon.